this molecule is guanidine it has two types of nitrogen atom first type in which nitrogen is singly bonded with the carbon atom so this nitrogen and this nitrogen is singly bonded with the carbon atom so first type of nitrogen in which nitrogen is singly bonded with the carbon atom another kind of nitrogen we have that is doubly bonded with the carbon so another kind of nitrogen that is doubly bonded with the carbon atom now guanidine is very basic in nature so guanidine is basic in nature and this is because of lone pair at the nitrogen atom so we have lone pair at nitrogen so why this is basic this is because of lone pair at nitrogen now a question is asked which nitrogen gets protonated when guanidine reacts with acid that is either singly bonded nitrogen gets protonated or it is the doubly bonded nitrogen that gets protonated so let us protonate one by one and then see the instability of corresponding conjugate acid so let us first protonate singly bonded nitrogen so we will have this reaction so this is acid base reaction let us say we have h plus so we have to protonate singly bonded nitrogen so this is the base and this is corresponding conjugate acid now let us protonate doubly bonded nitrogen so we have guanidine and this time we have to protonate this nitrogen so this is base and this is corresponding conjugate acid now these reactions are acid base reaction and will be in equilibrium so we have to find which nitrogen gets protonated this is either singly bonded or this is either doubly bonded so we have to look the instability of corresponding conjugate acid 
so we are looking for a stability of conjugate acid so let us call this is 1 and this is 2 now conjugate acid 2 is very stable so we can write resonating structures so this is one resonating structure we can also write another resonating structure so this lone pair goes here and this bond goes here so we will have three resonating structure in this case so due to resonance conjugate acid 2 is very stable but this kind of resonance is not possible in conjugate acid 1 so this kind of resonating structure is not possible for this conjugate acid this means when I protonate doubly bonded nitrogen corresponding conjugate acid is more stable so we can say doubly bonded nitrogen gets protonated another kind of molecule we also have that is called amidines very similar to this we have amidines so this molecule is amidine and very similar to guanidine so only I have to replace this NH2 group by CS3 group so we have to replace this NH2 group by CS3 group so this is guanidine So question can be asked in case of amidine which nitrogen gets protonated either this nitrogen or this nitrogen. So in case of amidine which nitrogen gets protonated. and the answer is again same doubly bonded nitrogen gets protonated because corresponding conjugate acid is resonance are stabilized so doubly bonded nitrogen gets protonated so if I protonate doubly bonded nitrogen in case of amidine here basically we have carbon not nitrogen so 
So this is amidine. So we will protonate doubly bonded nitrogen. So this is carbon. And we can write resonating a structure for this molecule. So this goes here and this goes here. So once again amidine is resonance a stabilized. So this is base and this is corresponding conjugate acid. So conjugate acid is resonance a stabilized. So in case of amidine also doubly bonded nitrogen gets protonated. So idea is whenever we have singly bonded nitrogen and doubly bonded nitrogen we will always get doubly bonded nitrogen protonated. 